So today's video is revisiting an old video that I did about a year ago, which was ripping, tearing and shredding, the one that you can see on the screen now, the face. And I've had quite a lot of comments on this one over the last year, um, especially when the new systems just come out with a new cloth saying um, this one in particular, look, five days ago, nice, can you please update this tutorial using the new Cinema 4D cloth system or give more tips on tearing. So I thought, yeah, let's do that. There's been lots of lots of inquiries about the ripping and the tear in here um, and how to get this effect to look really good. So let's do it now in, in the 2023 version. So this, you'll be glad to know, is I think it's easier. I think it's, there's, not, there's less technical steps to get this to work. So in this example you've just seen, it's using the American football and we're just ripping all the um, leather off and it's leaving this kind of cage mesh underneath. Okay, so let's show you how you do that. Uh, we go up to Asset Browser and you type in football and you should get the American football there. Double click on that. Now for scale, that's real world scale. If we put bring in a figure, you'll see it's the, the, the proper scale. But we want to make this a bit bigger for this the, the forces to, to, to work how I want them to. So if we bring in a cube and then we want to enlarge this football up so it's just slightly bigger than the cube like that so delete that and we want two parts to this not all of these so we want an inner bit which is going to be the cage so we're going to copy and paste the ball and then delete the laces and then call this cage and then we're going to just shrink that down let's take off the the materials as well and let's shrink that down so it's inside the ball like that and the American football we want to right click and um, connect objects and delete okay so we just get two polygons right now we've got that we're going to add the uh, the cloth tags to these now right so on the cage we're going to right click simulation cloth and then we go to mix animation and we say with pins okay I prefer to use this rather than Collider, I'll get better results. And on the American football, let's right click, go to simulation and cloth. And we need to add a vertex map to this now, which is going to control how this ball tears when it, when, when it has wind and turbulence applied to it. Okay, so we right click, go to other tags, vertex map, let's go go around shading with lines so we can see the lines now we want to go this way around because this is more detail this side if we just click off that you'll see we've got more detail here so this is the side i want to have it um, showing with the camera um, to show more detail so we're going to work on the back just here so if we go back to the vertex tag here and um, we're going to paint on and it goes yellow when it's you know when the effect is active we're going to paint on weakness in the seams okay so we're just going to paint on at the back here um along these seams i don't have to be too accurate here we just want to just suggest lines like this of where it is going to be weaker when when, when the effect is applied now you can take a bit longer if you want yours to be exactly on the lines but when this effect starts to work, it doesn't really matter. It will just start to tear along roughly these areas. So the valve there could be weaker. Um, you can change the size of this. If you double click on there, we can change the size of the head of this paintbrush, if you like, just to make, you know, so you can have thinner, thinner sort of detail as well. So just paint where, you don't have to be too precise. Just paint areas on here where it would be where it would be a bit weaker, you know, where it would split and tear. So something like that. Okay, so what we need to do now is bring the forces in. So if we go to simulate forces, we, we need the wind and we need turbulence. So the wind, we need to bring that out in front of the ball here. And we need to spin it round because the arrow is pointing the other way. So we just need to spin that round 180, go into coordinates, type in 180 and then the wind will, will aim at the ball 
and then we want to put some big numbers in here like I don't know about 400 and 100 in turbulence and the turbulence the separate turbulence let's just bring that up to I don't know 30 and like 15 or something right um, let's have a look at how this collides as well it's quite important so the the cage on the inside we have that set up as both and we really want that to be front so it's only going to going to collide with the front so if I just turn this off so it will com com combine with this plane on the front here not on the reverse of it so so that's how we want that and if we go to the American football tag that's set to both and we want that to be back okay because the inside of this material or the or the the reverse of these polygons the back is going to collide with the front of the cage okay so you make sure you do that because if you've got it on both there's a lot of calculations and a lot of confusion that could happen that could probably really slow and crash your computer and lots of you know, I think you'll get a warning about limit collisions and things like you know and it will just crash out so make sure that you limit that from happening by um, choosing back and choosing front okay right once we've got that done let's just check the yeah right so we need to now go to the American football um, tag the cloth tag and on the surface under tearing we need to activate cloth tearing and then we need to uh, uh, get this arrow down where it says map and then we need to drop in this vertex map and change the tearing guide sorry the tear guide into say 90% so it kind of goes along lines rather than at angles right so we may need to cache this this may be quite slow let's just close a few things down make sure you you have a fresh reboot get rid of all, all your cache because we're working with quite a high detail model here now the more detailed the better this effect will look with with the cloth and the tearing and the shredding of these little fibers if it's too big on the polygons it will it will it will look like squares breaking up it will not look that detailed so work with a high re, high res high quality image right let's just give this a go we may let's save it just in case we have any problems let's save it in here as like test one yeah we'll overwrite test one uh okay let's just give it a go let's see what we get so we've got the things in place actually just before we do that let's just make sure we do not have gravity in the scene i've interrupted that as it started to play so it, it is going to be quite slow this i may have to pause the video yeah make sure you take out the gravity down to zero because it, all of this will drop down if not and we don't want it to move like that all right let's just play that again and see what kind of speed we're getting from this and i'll you know appreciate that if you've got a different um, different sort, sort of computers different speeds this is going to be very different on different machines um, right so I want to see what happens after these first initial frames so you can see the split in there but it's also kind of being quite turbulent as well which I don't think is quite right I think it's a little bit too much on the turbulence here so we'll pause there just wait for that to catch up it's a little bit of time here but um, it's not too bad considering it's a very detailed object there right so turbulence don't need much turbulence in this scene obviously so let's bring these figures down we only want it to move slightly let's see what we get now um, it's got to leave this for like a minute and it starts to right so it does initially get quite quite blown up like that it's just I, I, I do need it to I do need to leave it a bit longer because I want to see what happens after these first initial frames when it starts to kind of blow the material out the back That's, yeah like this so I just need to leave it a bit longer just before I, I, I can see whether it's right so we should have a lot of wind force now here because we've got it set to 400 so it's a massive force which is why this is starting to tear very quickly 
And because we've got, if we go to the tear now, if we just click on vertex map, this may take a while because we're um, kind of waiting for processing to happen. Okay, look, can you see exactly where these yellow bits are that I've painted on? They're the areas that are being affected. The other areas are staying together because they're not weak areas. So it's a really good system that putting the tearing on weak seams. Um, I think you can see here there's quite nice kind of tearing. Let me just pause that and just see if we can just zoom in. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, just after just a few a few frames there, not even been um, cached or anything, we're getting a really nice look to this. Okay, because this model is so detailed, we're getting all of that detail now splitting and and shredding off with all these lovely fibers. Look, now to complete the look of this, we want to add a cage to this inner. Now you can. If you want, and you don't want to use a cage, you can literally turn off that cage and just use it as a collider. If you just want this to be like a hollow object, which also would look really nice. You know, you know just like the air has just been released and it's, it's coming out. You can use it like that by all means. But if you want to use the cage, if you just go to the asset browser and type in metal, and go, right, go to materials then, and go right to the bottom, and then we've got this one called steel gratin, st sorry, steel grating squares. Is that grating, gratin squares? Um, double click on that, it will go into your materials and then we just want to apply that to the cage. And obviously we want to bring the scale down. So let's go to cubic like that and then let's bring this down to say 20%. So now if we just put in a quick like physical sky and hit render shouldn't be too long to render this but that is it really so you don't need to make an actual cage you don't need to make it out of geometry we can literally just put on this material um, there's not many effects involved here we're literally going to use a bit of turbulence some strong wind we're going to use the vertex map to hold this down and this look straight out of the bag we haven't really done much to this we haven't change a lot of these settings really we've just painted on a little bit of vertex where we want this to split and look at the detail we're getting from the split i hope that's given you some ideas now i'm going to include this model as i've done it in the, in the video you've seen at the beginning in my gumroad website below with some other examples of other objects with skin and splitting and stuff like that that i've tried as well so if you want to grab any of those, it's about a dollar or two dollars, something really cheap. And you can have all of these files and start looking at this effect yourself. If not, just follow along with the tutorial, grab different files, different scenes. Make sure they're high poly because this effect will look much better. Uh, I'll see you very soon in the next video. My name is Mike. Take care. Goodbye for now.